justice for Heyman Lee. With Adnan Syed now free, the family wants to find her killer. Hello, everybody. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to the News of Five, everyone. The big story we're following tonight, attorneys for the Lee family, they want a new hearing now laying out what evidence allowed the courts to set Syed free. WJZ is live outside Circuit Court downtown. Paul Gessler spoke with the Lee family attorney today on what the family hopes to learn. Paul. Well, Nikki, Adnan Syed walked out of this court more than six weeks ago to a throng of supporters and a lot of media. And since then, there have been several court filings and public spats between attorneys. All the while, Hey Men Lee's murder remains unsolved. We want to know what happened and why. In a court filing Wednesday, attorneys for the family of Hey Men Lee have asked the Court of Special Appeals to grant a hearing laying out the evidence supporting Adnan Syed's release. There are ways that the evidence could be heard such that it's not going to compromise the investigation. Steve Kelly argues the Lee family is entitled to know why Syed was set free after 23 years. The two were students at Woodlawn High School when Lee was murdered in 1999. Her ex-boyfriend, Syed, was convicted in 2000 and sentenced to life in prison before his release in September. Kelly says Lee's family wants to hear the evidence. Absolutely. They want to know what it is, and they want the public to know what it is. The filing references this week's Baltimore Banner story, where it obtained handwritten notes from Kevin Urick, a prosecutor on the case. Notes referenced as new evidence, highlighting a potential new suspect. But Urick claimed he was writing about Syed, not any alternative suspect. In a statement this week, the city state's attorney's office said Urick has serious credibility issues. Call that person as a witness and impeach credibility, you know, that's what would have been done at a trial, and that's what should have been done here. A spokesperson for the state's attorney's office said it does not have any credible evidence Syed is connected to Lee's murder and said, in part, only a portion of their findings were outlined in the motion to present enough compelling evidence for the court to consider their request without compromising the rest of this open and pending investigation. Now, if the Court of Special Appeals does not grant this new hearing, Kelly says he'll file a motion in the other appellate court, Maryland's Court of Appeals. Reporting live on Lexington Street, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.